Welcome to part 30 of basic training. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know to play DS Mario Circuit on 150cc. The recommended build for this course is going to be Yoshi, Bitty Buggy, Rollers, and Paper Glider. The first half of the course is pretty straightforward for the most part, and most of the turns are going to be taken exactly how your brain is telling you to take them. Do note that for the second right drift, the timing for the Super Mini Turbo is kind of tight and requires some soft drifting to do properly, which is one of the reasons why we're using Bitty Buggy instead of Teddy Buggy for this track. When approaching the tunnel, just move to the left hand side of the track and then do a right hop into a left drift. This mushroom shortcut that we're about to go over is actually super annoying because what we want to do is drift up the hill and build up an ultra mini turbo and then drive straight up the track. However, if you don't approach the turn in the right way, then what's more likely to happen is that you get flung off way to the side like you can see here. Fortunately, this is pretty easy to avoid. All you have to do is make sure that when you do the left drift that you do so in such a way as to drift over this first flower here and then tighten up right around when you get to the bush. It's a bit of a pain to actually figure out, but once you know what to look for, it hopefully shouldn't be too much trouble. Note that if you're running the track shroomless, you approach it in the same way as if you were using mushrooms, but you need to soft drift so that you can build up a super mini turbo before you get to the shortcut. Then, and this is very important, go around the first big rock instead of going through the path like we did before, and then you must do a right jump to release the super mini turbo before doing a left hop into a left drift. I don't know why, but if you try and do what your brain is telling you to do and left hop, then you won't be able to clear the off-road. After that, we're going to do a left drift to grab our next three coins, and then after building up a super mini turbo, start a wide left drift. You want a mini turbo trick off of this ramp, but the problem is that it's really hard to avoid the off-road afterwards, so you want to make sure that when you trick, you're as far to the left as possible. This will allow you to land in a left drift and build up a mini turbo. You then want to do two right hops to fix your alignment because this will allow you to do a left drift and build up a super mini turbo while going over the off-road. To finish up lap 1, all we need to do is one more right drift to build up an ultra mini turbo while grabbing the two coins. Laps 2 and 3 are mostly the same as lap 1 through the mushroom cut, albeit with tighter turns. But after the mushroom cut, we don't really want to do the mini turbo trick because it's way harder to get good alignment than it was on lap 1. Instead, just drive straight and trick, making sure to grab your 10th coin around the shroomless cut. Now before checking out the full run, let's talk about the world record for a bit. Unlike us, they take full advantage of the Yoshi Bitty Buggy build and do a mini turbo into an ultra mini turbo at the very start of the run. This requires basically perfect soft drifting and is way harder to do than it looks. They also do a slightly different setup for the mushroom shortcut. I tried learning this strategy, but like we saw earlier, the problem I was having is that I'd end up taking the cut from way too far to the outside, which is what actually ended up causing me to get flung all the way into next Tuesday. The other weird thing about the world record is that they take the shroomless cut a bit tighter than we did, going over the grass as well as the dirt. I don't know what sort of black magic was at play here because every time I tried to do this, I would just immediately lose my drift. Anyways, that's all the strats. Let's talk about the track a bit more while checking out my current personal best. And by the way, if you've been finding the video helpful so far, don't forget to click the like button so the video can get spread to more people because that's the best way to help out the channel and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, DS Mario Circuit. Uh, it exists? Sorry, I just can't think of a whole lot to say about this track specifically since it's kind of like a mashup of stuff we've seen on other tracks. It's funny because when Wave 4 first dropped, this was probably my second favorite track in the Wave after Bangkok Rush, but after grinding out all these tracks, my opinions have more or less done a 180 on most of them, including this one. For Mario Circuit, it's not so much that I think it's bad or anything, it's just like a less interesting version of Toad Circuit, which itself is already a pretty uninteresting course as far as I'm concerned. One thing that made the track drop a few spots for me was the Mushroom Shortcut. Why does it seem like they did this in almost every track where there's at least one thing that's intentionally designed to be janky as hell? For Shroomless Shortcuts I can understand because most of the time they weren't intended to be there in the first place which is what makes finding setups for them so entertaining for me. But this is a pretty basic Mushroom Shortcut all things considered, and the fact that you either hit it in a very specific way or else lose half a second per lap is just annoying rather than fun. Now the notable thing the course does have is the forest section, which honestly looks pretty cool, but we see so little of it that it doesn't really have the time to register. I was actually looking forward to talking about the gigantic wiggler that shows up on lap 3, but because of how we run the course, we don't actually get a chance to see it. Again, I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad, just kind of a missed opportunity, and I think that adding a few seconds of forest section per lap really would have helped out a lot. Anyways, I've dragged this on long enough. The course is okay. Catch you all in the outro.
And that's everything you need to know to play DS Mario Circuit on 150cc. If you found something useful or entertaining in this video, don't forget about all the algorithm food and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. Thank you all very much for taking the time out of your day to do some basic training, and as always, I will see you in the next video.